Hi guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. We have our brand new PS4 Pro here. We've unboxed it. We've done all the temperature, wattage, and power consumption tests. And now it's time for my favorite part, the teardown. Okay, here we are. We've got our PS4 Pro and we're ready for the teardown. Now this is the first time I've done any sort of teardown on this console. So we're just gonna see if we can figure it out and make the best of it. You gotta get all the little plastic pieces off. And the first thing we need to take off is the hard drive cover right here. So that you just grab on the corner right here and just give it a good pull. It sounds uh, kind of awful, but it actually comes out just fine that way. And then we've just got the one black screw for the hard drive. So we'll remove this screw. And there we have it. We'll pull the hard drive out here. And hard drive is upside down. We're gonna remove these screws, see what brand of hard drive's in here, and let you guys know. And the hard drive we have is an HGST for our PS4 Pro. Of course, it is the one terabyte. PS4 Pro comes with a one terabyte hard drive. So that's the hard drive we have in ours. Sony in the past has used uh, various manufacturers for hard drives, so there may be others that you uh, have in yours, but that's what we have for ours. Now we gotta figure out, I'm guessing what we need to do is either take the bottom or the top cover off. So if it's anything like the Pro, we just have to pull up on the edges here, and then there's just clips. And before I start pulling on this too much, I do need to remove this uh, warranty sticker. And there is also a black screw there as well. So let's get that done first. Okay, warranty is now gone. So the next thing is we gotta remove those two screws. And I didn't even notice this, but there's actually another warranty sticker right there. So there is two warranty stickers on this one, similar to previous PS4 models. Okay, now I'm betting this is just gonna pop up. Okay, just takes a little bit of pulling to get those clips free. And then most likely we just pull it to the back that way and that removes the top cover. Okay, this gives you guys a look of all the cables and screws inside. This is the top plate for the PS4 Pro. So the first thing we're gonna do so we're gonna remove all the silver screws from this plate, and then it also has black screws right along this front edge. So we're gonna do that. And then it also has the Wi-Fi cables right here, and the ribbon cables for the disk drive are located right there. Okay, that's all the screws. And if you guys ever get stuck trying to figure out what screws go where, or you get confused or lose some or something, I mean misplace some and you find them later, the thing you gotta remember is the black screws go into the metal. So the black screws go into all of these metal um, holes where they screw into metal. The silver screws are the larger ones and they screw into plastic. So keep that in mind if you ever take all the screws out and you get them all mixed up or something, that's how you figure out where they go. Next is the Wi-Fi antennas and then the ribbon cables. Now with these ribbon cables, all of them just pull out except for this, the widest one there is a locking tab, so you need to get your fingernail or a pick or something under there. A pick actually doesn't work that good. A fingernail works good or something with, you know, maybe a wide blade uh, screwdriver or something like that works okay. Fingernail works great though, and then that just pops out. Now we can take the top plate off. So, there is the top plate, and there's no thermal pads, no anything you need to worry about there, so we don't have to worry about that. This gives us our first look at the motherboard, and I can see already they do have a redesigned clamp. I bet there's gonna be four screws right here that are gonna clamp this whole thing down. So let's get this off and see if I'm right. Okay, now all the screws are off of this, so I'm just gonna get my finger fingernail right under this little gap right here, pull it off. Now there we have our thermal pads, so you always gotta make sure those are on there when you go to replace this plate back on. And here is our, an X clamp. 
So this has four mounting screws right here. This is actually really good to see because Sony had a really big problem with the corners of the APU on the older models would um, come apart from the motherboard and so that would cause things like turning on and back off or the blue light of death where the blue light just flashed and stuff like this. So this hopefully will prevent that. I, I really love that they redid this and I'm very hopeful that this motherboard is going to be much more reliable than the previous PS4 motherboards. It also is a giant motherboard. It's uh, definitely bigger than the first model of PS4 motherboard. It's very large and that's kind of what you'd expect with the PS4 Pro as it does have more power and that sort of thing. So let's take the clamp off. We'll turn it over and get the bottom casing off. Okay, and we've got the clamp off and there is also a spacer underneath and it actually catches pretty good right here. So I'm actually just gonna leave this on there and not try and pry it up, that could break the plastic. So I'm just gonna leave that right there and then we're gonna get to turn it over, take the bottom off and the power supply out and then we should be able to get the motherboard out. Now the top case, I'm guessing just comes apart the same way. I'm guessing there's clips all along the edges so I'm actually gonna turn it around like this and let's just pull on this and hope we're right. Good so far. Okay, now that the clips are loose, we can just slide it backwards. Let me orient this. So we'll slide it backwards like that. That's just, uh, just a piece of the casing. We'll go there and then we've got so here's our cooling fan, and it's a larger cooling fan. Looks like it's been redesigned a little bit. So let's remove the power supply next. Okay, now all the screws are out of the power supply. Now what I'm guessing we need to do is just find a place to, to pull up, and it looks like right here is a good place, and maybe over here. And then we're just gonna wiggle back and forth, and that's gonna free the power supply. Now it does have the typical four pin connector right down here. Let me move that so you guys can see it right down there. So we're gonna take our needle nose pliers and this you gotta grab just the part of the connector that has the wires that go through it and not the part that's on the motherboard and wiggle it while you pull up. Okay, so here is the power supply, now this power supply is definitely larger than on the PS4 Slim. So that is most likely just because this does take more power. This console is a more powerful console, so it makes sense that it would need a larger power supply. Now that the power supply has been removed, we can flip it over and take out the motherboard. Now the motherboard is almost ready to be removed. We do need to remove the fan connector and then we also need to remove this small ribbon cable connector right here. There we go. And now it looks like this motherboard is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is lift up on the front and then I'm gonna pull it backwards. Get this Wi-Fi cable out of the way. Okay, and here we go. This is the first look at the PS4 Pro motherboard. I'm gonna zoom in on that chip right there. So that is the APU. And it seems like every time I make one of those, these videos, people wonder where the GPU is and what the APU is. So this chip is the GPU and CPU put together into one. It's called the Accelerated Processing Unit. So that's what this chip is. So we'll set the motherboard aside and show you a little bit of the thermal paste and the thermal pads. Now one thing to note is they have added a copper heat sink right here. So the thermal paste and the chip go right against this copper heat sink and that provides better cooling. Now that we have that done, let's remove this bottom plate so we can get an even better view of that heat sink. So this bottom plate is held in by one screw here and one screw here. And then we're just gonna pull up on it just like this. Get it out free of the cables. And here we go. There's an even better view of the heatsink. 
is definitely a large heat sink. There is one, two, three cooling tubes that go through it. You can see right there. So you can see it's definitely a large heat sink and the piece of metal underneath is this wide. So you can see it's very wide. So this is gonna provide much better cooling for this, this PS4 Pro than some of the other PS4s it looks like. And that's just gonna be because it is more powerful so it, it needs a lot more cooling. So hopefully they've gotten this right and there'll be no cooling problems. We'll be able to tell that in some of our upcoming tests to see how warm this thing gets. But it looks like they've done a pretty good job. And now hiding down in the case is just the disk drive. So one thing to keep in mind with this, kind of like the PS4 1215, 1200 series, there's no green board. So the nice thing about these is you can just interchange them. You can take them out and put them in a different one and there's no problems. So let's get it taken out and take a look at it. So the disk drive has one silver screw there, one silver screw there, and one silver screw there, one black screw right there. After those are removed, we can finally pull out the Blu-ray drive. It's kind of tricky to get your fingers in there, but it does come out. Now we'll move the case over here. And this shows you the disk drive. Now I can say by feeling it, this is very light. So there's really not much to this disk drive. They've really taken a lot of the pieces and gears and consolidated them in this disk drive here. So that's a good thing. Usually when parts are removed, that makes it simpler. So that's a good thing. Next, I'm gonna take this screw off and this screw off and we'll have a look at the laser. And here's the inside of the PS4 Pro disk drive. Right here, you're looking at the laser. So this is what reads your disks. And these are the rollers that pull the disk in. Here's the motor that pulls the disk in. Just gives you guys a general look at the inside of the disk drive. Now, the PS4 Pro can play 4K games and output 4K to a TV, but the disk drive does not. So if you get a disk game or anything like that, that you put in the disk drive, a movie, whatever, it's not gonna be outputting 4K. If you buy your game online and download it onto your PS4 Pro, that'll work fine. You can watch Netflix, do all that sort of thing. Anything online is fine. But unlike the Xbox One S, this is not a 4K Blu-ray player. Now I'm gonna check this thermal paste on the APU. Just wanna give you guys another good look. They put quite a bit of thermal paste on it. Let's see how crusty it is. It's really not too crusty. It's actually pretty liquid still. So that's a good thing. Any of you that watched my Xbox One S unboxing, I found that the thermal paste on that was already pretty crusty when I first opened it up. So it's nice that this is at least pretty liquid at this point. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and then we'll give you guys a good view of the APU. Okay, there is the APU on the PS4 Pro. Now this PS4 Pro has 4.2 teraflops. Any of you who don't know what a teraflop is, it's basically just a measure of computing power. The original PS4 and the PS4 Slim had 1.84 teraflops, so a little over double the computing power. So I think the PS4 Pro is gonna really be a much more powerful console, and hopefully that'll really give us some performance upgrades. I wanted to give you guys a look at one more thing, and that is the fan. There's just two screws, one there and one there, so I'll remove the fan and give you guys a look at that. And here we have the fan for the PS4 Pro. So that's that side, and here's this side. You can see it's a large fan. It's a pretty burly fan. I expect that this fan is gonna really move some air to help keep that PS4 Pro cool. Our PS4 Pro teardown is complete. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. I'm happy to answer them. It looks like this PS4 Pro console is gonna be a pretty good console. There's no way to know for sure. Obviously, there's a lot of new hardware and so there's always seems to be some sort of problems that crop up. So we're gonna be always keeping our eye open for that. 
And if you guys ever have any problems with any of your consoles, just go right to our website at tronicsfix.com. We're happy to help. Thanks again for watching.